This is part two of our how to spend in Hawaii for one month with our entire family. Kids watch. Moms talk. Mom cameras. Uh, let's see what Suzanne has to say. All right, how did you make it happen? So it definitely was not cheap. I want to put that out there to begin with, that this whole trip was a combination or happened money-wise from a combination of our savings. And in my previous job, I had stock in the company mm -hmm. and that was purchased while I was working and at a discounted rate. And yes. so I cashed out on some of those stocks as well. And then on and then we also used some of the income that we were making as well. So it was a combination of three things. And I would probably have to say that the savings and the stocks were the main ways that I paid for this. And so our accommodations, we stayed at a condo in Honolulu. And that was booked through Airbnb. Mm. And it's a little bit funny because I really didn't want to spend that much on accommodations. <laughs> and I was just looking for any place, you know, any small place for us. My only thing was I wanted a kitchen so that we would be able to cook mm -hmm. if we wanted to. But my sister and her husband actually were coming to meet us in Oregon, and they were also going to stay wherever we booked our accommodations. Mm -hmm. And she is very particular. So she wanted to stay somewhere very nice. And so that's one of the reasons why we ended up choosing the place that we did, which was a, a hot condo in a high rise building in Honolulu. Wow. Yeah, that sounds expensive already. <laughs> it, it was expensive. <laughs> but it also helped that they did stay with us because paid for some of that okay, cost great. as well. And the good thing about staying there was that there was a pool available mm -hmm. if we wanted to use it. There was a video game room for the kids to play in and then also a gym. And it was so convenient to everything that we basically, if we weren't, if we were staying in Honolulu, we walked everywhere. Okay. So the beach was walking distance. And so even though it was expensive, we saved a lot in terms of what we might spend if we had stayed somewhere else that didn't have all of those amenities. So then as far as, uh, ranking these the prices so the plane tickets were probably the, the most expensive the plane tickets actually weren't that expensive so from minnesota it was around 600 round trip per person okay and so my daughter was not Lorelai. She wasn't two yet when we flew nice. there. So she didn't need a ticket going there. But we did have to buy her a ticket coming back. Okay. And one of the reasons, so we also waited until the prices went down. And so I use Hopper. I don't know if you've heard I've of that heard app. Of Hopper. So I use the Hopper app. My brother-in-law who travels all of the time, he uses Hopper to get really cheap flights. And so you can... It's an app that you can download onto your phone. You can tell it where you want to go and a date range, and it will look for cheap flights for you. Nice. So if something comes up that's cheap, like you'll get an alert that says, you know, to Hawaii right now are only 600 you should book. Oh my gosh. I don't, I, the only thing I ever use is Google Flight, but mm. you have to search for them. I, I want something that will alert me for any yeah. cheap flights. Yep. So Hopper was a great app and that's how we found our flights, which were a lot cheaper than they probably would be. Okay. And then along with the Airbnb, we also stayed at Aulani, which is a Disney resort. <gasps> that sounds very expensive. <laughs> It was very expensive, but less expensive than it would have been because I used a website called David's Vacation Rental. So there are people who own suites or own rooms at Aulani. And so when they're not using it, they sell their time. Basically, it's kind of like a timeshare, but they'll sell it at a discounted rate. So we use that for two nights mm. at Disney Aulani. So then you have plane tickets, the your lodging. So the lodging was... The, the highest yes where budgeted came to came from and then what about um you, then would food be next or activities what would be the next priciest thing to consider um definitely food mm -hmm. the thing i love about hawaii in terms of activities is that you don't have to spend a lot we spent most of our time at the beaches or taking hikes and mm -hmm. so all of that was free and just going outside your 
doing fun stuff for writing. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So we didn't, besides Elani, which I guess was an activity, we didn't really spend too much on going out to places. Okay. Yeah. So food, we definitely was definitely expensive, but we also had a kitchen in our condo. So we did cook some of our meals. Okay. But then I also felt like we were on vacation and Hawaii is just has such a rich culture that we should try the food that's there. Mm. And so we did def- did indulge uh-huh. <laughs> while we were there. <laughs> you better. <laughs> yes, it was for your daughter's golden birthday. That's great. Yeah. What was like a, a memorable meal? A memorable, yeah, let's do a memorable meal first and then a, a, something else later. But what was a, a really good meal that you had there? Um, I don't know about a meal in general, but just a few blocks from where we were staying was the nearest mall. And inside the inside of the mall, they had this little section. It's called Japan Village Walk. Mm-hmm. And it, it just, it's like you're stepping into Japan. Really? Yeah. And so there's food stalls. If you're from Minnesota, I guess it's the equivalent of Hmong Village, but Japanese-wise. Yeah. Is it inside or outside? It's inside the mall. Wow, cool. Yeah, so you really feel like you're in Japan, and then there's just so much variety of food to choose from. And so we made the most of that, for sure. Had many lunches Mm -hmm. and dinners there. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Was it worth it? Was it... Was it worth it being there for a month? It was totally worth it. (laughs) I did not want to come back. Um, For me personally, I guess I just really enjoy the culture and the island life. For some people I know, they probably wouldn't enjoy it. Mm. You know, you might get a little stir crazy because time just moves so slow there. Uh, It does. It It does. But that's what for me, what I was looking for. And so I just loved it. And what I love about Hawaii is there's just so many different elements. If you want the mountains, you can go up into the mountains. Mm. If you want the beach, you can go to the beach. If you want city life, you can go to the city life. If you want country, it, I think someone has said it only take you can go around the whole island of Oahu in one day. Mm-hmm. So everything's really close, but everything's also very different. And so I never got bored while I was there. Oh, you brought you brought up a good point I never even thought of. I think unfortunately I might be one of those stir crazy people. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I even though I love a beautiful immaculate sunny day, I do like some change and or some structure to make my day kind of pace faster in routine Mm. so i don't know maybe maybe if i'm much older i might feel different but um but it's good to know that there's a place like that on earth yeah it's beautiful like that uh so i think something that either uh, i want i would like to know or somebody that is listening would like to know being there for a month uh what about your your job what did you do or your husband do that was permitted you guys to be away from your job for a month? So I am a freelance writer and I did do some freelance writing while I was there. Hmm. But I think um, it wasn't as much as I had planned. And my husband, he does medical billing. And so he was able to do a lot more billing prior to Hmm. in exchange to continuing to receive his salary while we were over there. And for me, I just took the time to save up also be prior to. And then I think we didn't try to worry so much about work because we knew we had savings and mm-hmm. the stocks that would help us through this time. And so we were just really focused on making the most of the time that we had there. And then if we needed to worry about work when we came back, then we would do so. Okay. And just back to some um, some actual numbers on the Airbnb, what would be like a per night stay? What would what did that come up to average? I think per night it was around 200. Okay. And so it was really expensive for the whole month. It was around 7,000. Are are there cheaper options? There definitely are cheaper options. And uh, if it was just my family, I probably would have done a cheaper option. But because my sister was so adamant about Mm -hmm. having a luxurious place. She she owes you (laughs) big time. Yeah. But actually, at the end of the day, I am grateful that she did force us to get that place. Because even though... It was expensive. It was so comfortable. Oh, right. Which we might not have had at a cheaper place. Okay. So I think sometimes you have to weigh what you're giving up Mm -hmm. for 
the money. And for me, looking back now, it was definitely worth it to spend the most on the accommodations. Okay, accommodations. And then for the food costs about per day, what do you think you spent on? Um, I don't think we spent that much in terms of food. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all often ate breakfast at home, which for us is oatmeal with mm-hmm. fruit. And, you know, we found a grocery store out there that had bulk oatmeal. And so we just bought a bunch of that and had that in the morning. And so food wise, I think for a family of four, you could probably get by with, you know, maybe 60 to 100 a day. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you were eating out. Right. But if you were, I mean, it would definitely be less than that if you were cooking at home. And plus, your your two little ones are still quite young, too. Yes. So they don't, they often share meals or they don't eat as much as the two of us. Suzanne, thank you very much. Thank you. Anything else that I, I should have asked or that would be good to know? Um, my thing is, uh, I guess, in terms of making a big trip is that, you know, if you if it's in your heart, then the money will come its way. <laughs> nice. As needed. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Um, thanks for listening, guys. This is Mom Gamers. We're on every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tell a friend about our channel. Like and subscribe. Comment below what you think about your ideal trip, a lengthy trip, an extended trip for your family is. I would love to know. Take us with you on your phone. And thanks for listening. Bye.